He entitled it The Unbearable Burden of Being Poor. Yeah, I can see how you're looking in my cart all judgmental. So I got an EBT card. What about it? You think you got a right to tell me what I can buy with it? I am broke right now. Broke, 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 brokeity, fucking broke. Like, considering turning my apartment into a brothel broke. I applied for SNAP benefits because collecting unemployment helps, but it's not enough. Otherwise, I really didn't know how I was going to eat, and I couldn't stomach one more bowl of rice and beans. Three months ago, I was fine. I had a job that paid a higher than average wage, low rent, manageable debt, etc. But even with a comfy wage, I still lived more or less paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, maybe I should have been putting something aside, but you never think it's going to happen to you, right? I haven't lost everything yet, and I still have some self-esteem left. So that's why you see me here in line at the grocery store, dressed professionally, looking privileged and shit, while you watch in horror as I use government money to pay the bill, buying stuff that from the look on your face you don't approve of. Hey, next, if you want to come outside, you can watch me get into my pretty little car and drive away. And then you can kiss my ass. That pretty new car, it's going to be either repoed or have a lean on it soon. I don't know which. But it's not the car. It's what it represents. You see, I was raised in poverty and lived in poverty for many years before I finally worked my way up. And even after I did that, I didn't own a car because I didn't need one. Then I moved here, the Big Apple, and I needed a way to get back and forth to see my family in western New York, so I bought a car. And now I'm about to lose that car, which is okay because I can't afford it now. What I'm not okay with is losing that feeling of freedom I got from being mobile and not seeing my family because I'm too broke to buy a bus ticket. So judge all you want, but I'm really heartbroken over the upcoming loss of that car. Yeah, I'm slowly losing everything I own. But just because I haven't lost my car yet, does that mean I shouldn't get some help right now? That I am one of the lucky ones should scare each and every one of you. Yeah, I've been lucky. Like I said, I've lived through a lot of fucking poverty, and the only reason I got out of it was luck. Not hard work, tenacity, stubbornness, and a sentimental wish for something better, although all of those apply. I was and am all of the above, but it truly was nothing more than luck that got me where I am today, was yesterday. These days, being good enough at something ain't good enough. You gotta be lucky. Economic stability should not be a never-ending game of Russian effing roulette, but that's what it's like these days. The poor, the disabled, the elderly, its entitlements keep them going, see, and I'm one of them now. Being poor ain't fun, and it sure as hell ain't easy. Being poor takes a lot of work. Stressing about bills and shit ain't fun. I ain't lazy. I didn't want to have to take no government help. It's a huge blow to my pride to be in that situation. Never thought it would happen to me. It's not what I wanted. Hey, you could be just a few months away from being poor yourself, and you probably don't even know it. Why don't I just go out and get another job? See, I'm not above taking a minimum wage job, but no one's been willing to give me a job because of my salary history. They expect I'll quit if and when I find something better, and they're right, I would. And then, the longer I am unemployed, the more reluctant managers are going to be to hire me because a gap on a resume is a very bad thing. I know you're judging me. Well, maybe I'm judging you back. And I'd rather be the person in line using SNAP to pay for my food than the person in line being a judgmental asshole.